What does the seerah teach us about dealing with life's problems? Dealing with stress, dealing with anxiety, dealing with grief, dealing with pain, anguish, depression. What does the seerah teach us to overcome personal tragedies? You see, some of our youngsters, they look at Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. I think Facebook is old. You guys don't use it anymore, right? The youngsters. But they look at social media and they follow these celebrities online. They follow these ideal couple or some figure they look up to. And they say to themselves, I wish my life was like that person. That person is living the life. That person has no problem. That person is always happy. The picture they have on Instagram, always smiling, always traveling, always doing this and that. And so they think to themselves, I wish I want to be like them. But they're still young. The elders, I hope, don't think like this. Because I'm going to teach you youngsters a fact that you should understand. There is nobody on earth. There is not a single human being there's not one of you in this audience, including myself, except that there are troubles in their heart. Causes for anxiety, stress. There are things that bring us remorse and regret. There are aspects that cause us sleepless nights. There are issues that Whenever we have a quiet moment, or maybe even we don't have time to have a quiet moment, these issues come up and we start thinking and stressing and wondering, how will I solve them? Every human being on earth has stress inside of himself, herself. Now, I'm not saying the stress is equal. I'm not saying it's all the same. What am I saying? Nobody has full happiness in the heart in this dunya. Why? Because this dunya is not the abode of happiness. You will not find eternal happiness, full happiness in this dunya. Anybody who thinks so is mistaken. Every human being is undergoing multiple troubles simultaneously. Again, I'm not saying it's the same. I'm saying if you think that somebody is living a stress-free life, if you think somebody is living in perpetual daily happiness, you are wrong, incorrect. Every human being has internal problems, internal conflict, internal regret, internal anxiety. And usually, in fact, the default, we all have stress, from multiple factors and it varies from person to person subhanallah this is the weakness how Allah created us the same issue its absence will cause stress in one person and its existence will cause stress in another person the same issue if we have it stress if we don't have it stress I'll give you the classic example money most of us aspire to have money. Most of us are struggling to have money. And we think to ourselves, oh, if I reach that goal, and what is your goal? I don't know. One million shillings, 10 million shillings, I don't know. If we reach that goal, I will be happy. Subhanallah, if you only understood, I swear to you, the people of wealth, the number one cause of their stress is their wealth. The stress they have because of their wealth. You know when the stock markets crash in America, who commits suicide? It is the multimillionaires. It is the wealthy, the elite. The stress of having to deal and manage and the fear of losing that money. And we who don't have it, we are stressed because we don't have it. Allah tests some people, they don't have children. The stress of not having children makes them so anxious, so full of... And they say, if we only had children, we would be happy. And those of us whom Allah has blessed to have children, perhaps the number one cause of stress is those children. This white hairs we have, alhamdulillah, I have now three teenagers. Well, now the teenagers are older, but because of those teenagers, the stress comes. Alhamdulillah, but that is what it is. Correct? The ones who have it, 
stress because of it. The ones who don't, stress because of it. Okay? Some of you are single, not married. You're stressed out thinking, oh, once I get married, I will have perpetual happiness. Those of you that are married. So the point is, the issue that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in this dunya that is universal. Stress is universal. Anxiety is universal. Internal conflict, worrying, always something to worry about. This is human nature. Because, dear Muslims, to live stress-free, to live without fear, to live without anxiety, that is ahead of you in Jannah. That is Darus Salam. What is Darus Salam? It's not the capital of Tanzania. I mean, it is, but it's not what we're talking about here. Wallahu yad'u ila Darus Salam. Allah is calling to Darus Salam. Darus Salam, what does, of course, is Jannah. What does Darus Salam mean? Darus Salam means the abode of no worry. The abode of perpetual happiness. The abode of peace. Allah is calling you to Darus Salam. You will not get Darus Salam in this dunya. You have to understand this from the get-go, from the beginning. Darus Salam is what you want. That's the goal. That's the destination. It's not in this dunya. So we begin this talk. This is the introduction to clarify that every single human being on earth and every one of you and every one of us including me internally there's so much that causes us worry and pain and anguish and regret we're worried about the future we're worried about finances we're worried about parents we're worried about family about job security civil society the government country civil war world war three Palestine Gaza things go on and on and on what can we benefit from the seerah in dealing with distress and grief? That is the topic today. Now time is limited, you should know. I have spoken about this topic in full day lectures, like five, seven hour lectures. We only have now 45 minutes. I'm going to summarize for you some aspects inshallah. So realize this is a much longer topic and we have to summarize it. Inshallah, bi-idhnillah, after Salat al-Isha, we have an open Q&A. So we're going to do this topic as a bird's eye view. We're going to make some important points so we understand. And understand, of course, that this is a much longer topic. Perhaps, maybe Allah wills, one day I might come back to your beautiful country and city and masjid and maybe give a full day seminar where we go into a lot more detail. If this is something that Allah wills, alhamdulillah. But what we can do today, inshallah, we will benefit collectively. So I begin by pointing out an important principle or rule that we must understand. We must understand that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has willed that Darus Salam is ahead of us, then this dunya will not be Darus Salam, which means, which means, Every human being will be tested with different types of stress. 